YouTube channel. channel. Yep. If you're watching this video right now, it's probably because we are bored again. <laughs> yes. So we are gonna make a cooking video again. Yes. So what are we cooking? Today we are planning to make a creamy mushroom pasta. Mm, wow. Sounds good, right? You really need a few ingredients only, so uh, it's pretty easy to find it. And the best part is, it's meat free. So, so let's try it now. Jump. So here are the ingredients. You need some pasta. Cooking cream, butter, cheese, cooking oil, some herbs, and seasoning like salt and pepper. Yep, and for the mushroom, we will be uh, using shiitake mushroom which is uh, sliced here, it's about 200 gram. You can choose other mushroom if you would like to. And also we have some uh, chopped onion, about uh, 6 cloves of uh, garlic being uh, chopped as well, and also some coriander. As for the uh, herbs, we will be using rosemary leaves and also some Italian mix herb for the pasta. We don't have thyme leaf, uh, that's why we are substituting it with uh, rosemary. If you have thyme, that will be better. So let's start cooking. Alright, first we will heat up the pan. And once it is heated up, we will uh, put about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. After that, we will put our butter and we will melt it on top. That is for the uh, flavouring for the mushroom. Make sure to grease up the whole pan so that none of the veggie will stick on it later. Once the butter is almost melting off, we will put in the onion and we will fry for about 2 to 3 minutes. And we will put the fire into a medium heat so it doesn't burn the onion so fast. So after about 2 minutes of frying them, we will put in the garlic and we will continue frying it about uh, 1 minute. Right, so now we will put in the mushrooms. And we will cook this for about 6 to 7 minutes. Alright, so now that it's frying, we will put some uh, seasoning, about a pinch of pepper. And salt to your liking. as well as the herbs. Alright guys, now that it's about 6 to 7 minutes of cooking, you can see uh, the mushroom are all cooked and the moisture from the mushroom actually uh, creates a sauce uh, as a uh, gravy for the uh, dish. So right now we'll just remove it and put it on a plate. Alright, so we'll put this aside and we'll start cooking our pasta. Alright, so for the pasta, right now when the water is boiling, you just uh, need to put in about one tablespoon of salt and we can start cooking the pasta so the rule of thumb for cooking pasta is uh, you just use your thumb and your index finger and to make a hole like this this is the rough estimation of one person's portion 
So yeah, we have tried it out and uh, it's pretty reliable. Anyway, here are the... Uh, we have already measured out, here are the pasta that we need. So we just place it into the pot. And we will let it cook about uh, 6 minutes or whichever depending on the instructions on your uh, pasta. So we'll come back to you in about 6 to 7 minutes. See you. Okay, so now that the pasta is cooked, we will just drain it off. Okay, so after you've drained your pasta, just uh, put in about a pinch of salt for seasoning. Followed by some pepper. And to avoid uh, letting the pasta cool and sticks together, we will put in some olive oil. If you have butter, that's fine as well. And we'll mix it all around. Alright, the next one, the next step is to make the sauce. Alright, so uh, before you throw the water you use to boil the pasta, uh, just keep one cup because we'll be needing it as a stock for your pasta sauce later. Alright, that'll be enough. Alright, so for the uh, creamy pasta sauce, first we will just uh, melt the butter. Then we will put in the mushroom that we have uh, cooked just now. We will put in some stock that uh, we have kept just now, about half of it. Followed by the cooking cream, we will be using uh, one box, which is about 200 ml. Alright, so once that is done, we will place some cheese. Uh, we are out of Parmesan, that's why we are using uh, cheddar, but any cheese of your preference will be fine. Over here, we will season it with some uh, salt and pepper as well. Once you have let it simmer for about 1 to 2 minutes, uh, we will add in the pasta. And we will give it a quick mix. It smells so good already. Look how creamy it is. And, uh, for the salt and pepper, you can add to your liking, so if you want it to be more fragrant, I advise to put more salt. Look how good it is. And to garnish it, we will now put in the coriander.
chips and he's ready to serve.